Have you ever wondered exactly how many days after ovulation you can actually get pregnant? It's one of the most common and most misunderstood questions I get as a doctor. The truth is, conception isn't just about luck, it's about timing, biology, and understanding your body's natural rhythm. In today's episode, we're going to dive deep into how ovulation works, how long both eggs and sperm live, and the precise window of time when pregnancy is actually possible. Whether you're trying to conceive or simply want to understand your fertility better, this will give you a complete, evidence-based picture of what really happens inside your body each month. Let's start with ovulation itself, the most critical event in the menstrual cycle. Ovulation happens when a mature egg is released from one of your ovaries and begins its short journey down the fallopian tube, waiting to meet sperm for fertilization. For most women, ovulation occurs approximately 14 days before their next period begins. That's a key detail, it's not always 14 days after your last period, but 14 days before the next one. This means if you have a regular 28-day cycle, ovulation typically happens around day 14. But if your cycle is longer, or shorter let us say 21 days or 35 days your ovulation will shift accordingly. Your menstrual cycle starts on the first day of your period and ends on the day before your next period begins. Once you've tracked several cycles and understand your average length, you can predict your ovulation window much more accurately. Now here's where timing becomes everything. The egg that S released during ovulation has a very short lifespan about 18 to 24 hours. After that, it degenerates and can no longer be fertilized. On the other hand, sperm can survive inside the female reproductive system for up to five days. That means if you have intercourse in the few days leading up to ovulation, sperm can already be present and waiting when the egg is released. This is why the fertile window actually starts several days before ovulation because sperm are patient little swimmers, ready to fertilize that egg the moment it appears. So, in practical terms, you can get pregnant if you have unprotected sex in the 4 to 5 days before ovulation, on the day of ovulation, and possibly up to 24 hours after. Once that time passes, the egg is gone, and pregnancy can't occur until your next cycle. A fascinating biological fact is that women are born with all the eggs they'll ever have. At conception, a baby girl has several million immature eggs in her ovaries. By the time she's born, that number drops to about 2 million. When puberty begins, around 400,000 eggs remain. Throughout her entire reproductive life, which typically spans about 30 to 40 years, a woman will ovulate roughly 400 to 450 times. The rest of the eggs simply degenerate over time. As a woman gets older, both the quantity and the quality of her eggs decline. By the late 30s, the decline becomes more noticeable, and conception becomes more difficult. This natural decrease in fertility is one of the reasons why timing and awareness of your cycle are so important if you're replanning to get pregnant, but the story doesn't end with ovulation sperm health plays an equally vital role in conception. Many people assume infertility is primarily a female issue, but medically, that's not true. About half of all infertility cases involve male factors. Sperm motility meaning how well sperm move and sperm count are crucial for successful fertilization. Healthy sperm are surprisingly fast and efficient. After ejaculation, they can reach the fallopian tubes within 5 to 10 minutes, traveling at speeds of up to 28 miles per hour. This incredible speed allows them to be ready for the egg as soon as it's released. However, if sperm motility or count is low, the chances of reaching and fertilizing the egg decrease significantly. That's why, if conception doesn't happen after several months of trying, it's essential to evaluate both partners. A semen analysis can provide valuable insight into sperm health, motility, and concentration. Several lifestyle and environmental factors can impact sperm quality. Excessive alcohol consumption, smoking, poor diet, and obesity are all linked to reduced sperm production and motility. Heat exposure is another major factor sperm need to stay cooler than body temperature to develop properly, which is why the testicles are located outside the body in the scrotum. Frequent use of hot tubs, saunas, or even keeping a mobile phone in your front pocket for long periods can raise scrotal temperature and harm sperm health. Infections, particularly sexually transmitted infections, can also damage the reproductive system and reduce fertility. And interestingly, a high intake of soy products can negatively affect male fertility because soy contains phytoestrogens plant-based compounds that mimic female estrogen hormones. In men, this can disrupt hormonal balance and lower sperm quality. Another important aspect is age, just as women experience a decline in egg quality. After 35, men also experience a gradual decrease in sperm count and motility as they age. The difference is that men continue producing sperm throughout their lives, but the quality may diminish. The good news is that many factors affecting sperm health can be improved. Quitting smoking, maintaining a healthy weight, 
exercising moderately, eating a nutrient-rich diet, and limiting alcohol intake can all make a noticeable difference in fertility potential. Now, let's bring it back to the main question, how long after ovulation can you get pregnant? The answer is, technically, only up to 24 hours after the egg is released. However, because sperm can survive up to five days inside your reproductive tract, your actual fertile window is about six days long the five days before ovulation plus the day of ovulation itself. Once ovulation has passed and the egg is no longer viable, pregnancy cannot occur until the next cycle, that's why couples trying to conceive should aim to have intercourse regularly during that fertile window, ideally every other day to maximize the chance of sperm meeting the egg at the right time. Understanding your body's natural cycle is one of the most powerful tools you have for reproductive health. Track your periods, notice changes in cervical mucus, use ovulation predictor kits, and be aware of your body's signals such. As a slight rise in basal body temperature after ovulation, these subtle signs can help you pinpoint your fertile days with remarkable accuracy. And remember, if you've been trying to conceive for a year or six months if you're over 35 without success, it's time to consult a fertility specialist. There may be underlying issues that are easily treatable once diagnosed. In summary, pregnancy can only occur when sperm and egg meet within a very specific time frame. The egg lives for just one day, sperm can live for up to five, and everything depends on that perfect overlap. Understanding your ovulation cycle isn't just about getting pregnant faster, it's about being informed, proactive, and in control of your reproductive health. So if you're planning for a baby, give your body the best chance possible by knowing your fertile window, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, and getting regular medical advice. Timing truly is everything when it comes to conception.